Welcome back into another video continuing our racing game series and before we do anything into this game I just want to address a issue that I've encountered in the last video's comments. So some of you are saying that I'm stretching these videos and uh, the reason for that is because these videos are meant for beginners as we can read in the title in here. So if you understand these maybe you want to click away from the channel or I don't know maybe these videos are not meant for you if you think that I'm stretching it anyway uh, in this video we are going to create a editor script so this script in particular so we can just drop a game object and then we can create a component for that game object in here so we can only create it once if we remove it we can create it again now and there we go that's how simple this script is going to be anyway I'll close this tab and I will delete this editor script. Okay, so in order to use a editor script, we need a editor folder and then inside the editor folder, we can just create any script. So I'll rename this script editor script and then I'll just open it. So inside the editor script, we need a using editor and then we also need to remove this mono behavior and replace it with editor window. So since we're using a editor, we won't be needing a start, nor will be needing a update. So right away, we are going to use a menu item. And then inside the menu items, we'll say tools and a subfolder of the tools will be vehicle. There we go. Now we're getting a error because this cannot work on its own. We are going to add in a class called open. So public static void open. And then inside the open, we are going to simply say get window editor script. There we go. Now, if we save and go back into Unity, we should see a tools appear up here. There we go. Now we have a tools containing a vehicle. That is all nice and well. So now let's try and populate that script. And the first thing we are going to say is a very simple public game object object, or maybe we want to say car. So in order to display the car over into this window we need a GUI layout so on GUI inside the GUI we need a serializable object name it something like r1 is equal to new serializable serializable object this then we need to display it into the GUI so we want to say editor GUI layout dot property r1 dot find property and the property will be car so this thing next we want to apply it so we just want to say r1 dot apply modified properties and there we go now we should have a slot that we can drop in a game object there we go now we can just drop in a game object in here and it will stay into this slot that is all nice and well so now let's try and add some components into this game object so um into the GUI, we want to say we want to create a new class and we just want to call it buttons. There we go. We obviously don't have this buttons, so let's create void buttons. And in the button, we want to say if GUI layout dot button, we want to name our button create. We want to create component. Let's create components down here. Let's say void create components. And there we go. So in here we create our components. And before creating these components, we want a very simple check. We want to say if core is not equal to null, first of all, then we can just proceed and create the buttons. And we can comment this out for now. And we'll see that it will give us an error. So the components that we want to create is a very simple rigid body. So we want to say core dot add component rigid body. Now if we want to access this rigid body we can just simply pass it into a value so we can say rigid body a is equal to this. Now we can say a dot mass is equal to 1200 kilograms. We can also access the drag or whatever we want to access from the rigid body. For now we can just access the mass. So now in theory, we are creating these components. Let's save it, go back into Unity, and let's see if anything has worked. So let's drop in the game object and let's hit create. 
Okay, now we're creating a rigid body with a mass 1200. If we hit this create again, we're going to get an error. So let's try and debug this error. Let's go back into Unity. And also we have a, another issue that if this car is equal to null, we can still hit this create button. So this if statement up here will allow us to know if we have a game object in here. So now we don't have a game object. We, hand, we can't hit create. Now we can. Anyway, now let's add a very simple checking mechanism that checks if the rigid body has been attached. So before we add in a component, we want to check a component. So check rigid body. The way we're going to check it is by passing it into another value. So we want to say rigid body is equal to null. And in order to check if we actually have a component, we want to use a we're going to use a try catch block. So try and here we're going to catch and there we go. Inside the try catch block, we just want to access this rigid body. And we are going to do that by saying a is equal to car dot get component rigid body. There we go. So now if we have a rigid body, we're going to proceed and create it. And the way we're going to know if we actually get a rigid body is by saying a if a is not equal to null, we can proceed and create a rigid body. There we go. That is how simple it is to check components. So now if we go back into Unity, create again. Okay, I'm getting a error in here. And the error is that we are checking it the other way around. So if the rigid body is null, then we can create a rigid body. So now if we try and create, we should not be able to create this rigid body again. So we're hitting create, nothing is happening. Okay, that is all I've prepared for this episode. We're going to continue making this series. I'm, I'm going to do some stuff off camera so I don't bore you off to death. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.